Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and amongst all of the madness at Celtic Football Club in the past fortnight, we've been forgetting one very important thing. It's kit season. Personally, it's my favourite time of the year. You know me by now, the kit connoisseur. However, this year, I've not been looking forward to it as much and I think you know why. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, it has been magic the support on the channel recently, so let's keep that up on the road to 40,000 subscribers, jump down below, absolutely free, press that like button, press the subscribe button and get involved in today's video because this one's a matter of opinion and I want to hear everyone's opinion. Right, for a lot of us, including me and all you kit connoisseurs out there, this is usually the most exciting time of the year as a Celtic fan as we get ready for our kit refresh this year. Adidas will be bringing us three and potentially four new kits this season, which would normally present a very exciting time for us, but it's not been as exciting this year, has it? Um, we're going to talk about why in a minute, but Adidas have surprised us this year with their kit efforts, and it's one that's made it a little more, I don't know, nerve-wracking than usual. Now, I know there's a lot of you guys out there who couldn't care less what Celtic are wearing. As long as there's a green and white top on them and they're out winning trophies, the kit doesn't mean a thing. But for me, football kits has always been a massive part of the game. I absolutely love it and it's one of my favourite things to talk about. However, this year we have been presented with a very controversial home shirt. It will be announced on Friday officially. We've had some teaser images. We've also had some full-on leaked images of the kit and all of its glory you could say um but i'm going to save my opinion for the actual video today because we're going to be ranking all of the kits that adidas have given us so far but this home kit probably the most controversial and maybe our club's existence in regards to home shirts anyway it's one that hasn't been a fan favorite so far it's one that's going to take some getting used to and as the joke's been cracked on twitter many a times it's one that matt o'reilly jota and all the good looking Celts are going to have to do a right good job at it saving this season. So we're now going into our fourth season with Adidas as our kit manufacturers. It's the fourth of their five year deal. Next year could potentially be our last year with Adidas. So let me know what are you guys think and do you just want us to stick with Adidas? Do you want to see that kit deal extended? Do you want to see us go elsewhere? Nike, Umbro, Puma. There's a lot of manufacturers out there we've already worked with in the past. Some that we haven't worked with in the past. So it could be interesting. Could it be Castor? Who knows? It could be. Anyway, this season we've had three official kits leaked or released by the club to go ahead into the 2023-24 campaign. There's potentially a fourth to come as well. So we're going to look at all 14 kits that Adidas have given us since the start of that kit deal back in 2020. Um, yeah, strap yourselves in. It's time for a tier list. Here we are. We're back on tier maker. I love a tier list video. It's one of my favourite kinds of video to do. It's great for the OCD. You know, having a nice wee chart there for you to just put everything into in a nice wee order. Lovely. I love these videos. And it's been a while since I've done one. So as I said, we've got all 14 of Adidas's efforts so far as Celtic kit manufacturers. And we're going to rank them from perfect to hall of shame. Um, the best of the best at the top. And then slowly we'll make our way to good. Mid for the ones that I'm indifferent to. Bad for the ones that I'm not a fan of. And then the ones that are the worst will go into the Hall of Shame. It's a pretty simple concept. I'm sure you can follow and we're going to offer an opinion on each of the Adidas kits. If you want to do this yourself, I'll leave the link to it down below. I did make this myself so you can jump in and use it. Post it on Twitter. Let me know your opinions. I want to see them. Um, but here we are for mine on another tier list video. I have done this in a very particular order. As you can see, we're going to make our way through home kits. Then we're going to go to away kits third kits, and then fourth kits. So, it's pretty structured. You should get the gist of it. Rather than going season by season, I've decided to go by, you know, home away, third, fourth. Pretty simple to get. Let's not waste any more time, and let's get into this. So then, there's only one place to start. We're going to the home shot of the 2020-21 campaign. A year we all want to forget. Um, and it was the first year with Adidas. You know, that, I don't want to say it, but the 10-in-a-row season. 
Um, yeah, the home kit was one that it's not aged well, has it? It's one we don't like to look back on. And it reminds me an awful lot. And I said this at the time. I can go back and find my videos as well. It just reminded me far too much of another cursed season. It reminded me too much of that Tony Mowbray year, 2019, when we had the yellow on the shirt. The yellow does not belong on a home shirt. Learn your lessons. It happened in 2009. We were terrible. It happened in 2020. We were terrible. Adidas or whoever makes our kits in the future, never do it again. However, it wasn't it wasn't a terrible shot, to be honest. It wasn't awful, but I, I'm going to controversially start by putting it in bad. And that's probably just down to the memory of that season, to be honest. Because, realistically, if we won 10 in a row in that shot, oh, perfect, fantastic, history making. But I don't know. There was just something about it. And I think it's the yellow on it that just... And I look back and I've got it in my rack of my football shirts. I just hate looking at it. Shane Duffy, just get out my head. The next home shirt, the first year of Ange Postacoglu's Celtic tenure. A shirt that at first I, I really didn't like. This also reminded me of a shirt that we didn't have a great season. And it reminded me of the, the Ronnie Dyla second season, the 2015-16 campaign. And I was really against that when the shirt came out at first. But I must say, as the, the season went on, I started to like it a little bit more. And I really, I preferred it over the shirt beforehand come the end of the 21-22 campaign. So I'm actually going to put it into mid because I don't think it was anything great, but I really don't think it was anything bad either. Um, they removed the yellow straight away and that was great. But what I will say is Adidas really could have just hit the nail on the head out of any of these two seasons if they'd done one simple thing. A, if they removed the yellow from this shot, it would have been good. It would have been perfect even. And on this shirt, if they didn't do those stupid wee thin lines above and below the actual hoop itself, once again, probably be perfect. It was like one step away for each shot. But I did prefer this one over that one. And this one had a hell of a lot better memories in it as well. So I'm going to put it into mid. Last year's home shot. And for me, easily the best Adidas home shot that they've done so far. I'm putting it straight into good. It's not perfect. But it's certainly not bad by any stretch of the imagination. I love this shirt. And the more I wear it, the more I love it. Which is weird because when it first came out, if you remember my initial opinions, I wasn't a big fan of this shirt. I didn't really like it. Mostly down to the silver on the sleeves. But the minute we stepped into the Champions League with that silver on the sleeves, it went really nice with the Champions League badges. And I actually grew to love it a lot. I really liked the pattern through the green. It gave it that sort of kind of retro feel to it. And you know me, I'm a sucker for a retro styled kit. So for me, this is easily Adidas' best effort with a home shot. Um, out of a lacklustre bunch, I think that's easily the best. But I'll look back on that shirt very fondly. A treble one in it, some very good goals in it. Uh, decent enough. Yeah, I know we didn't succeed, but we played decent enough in Europe as well. It's not a bad kit. Um, and I actually like it personally, so it's going into good for me. Right, it's on to the kit you've all came here to hear me talk about. We're going on to the brand new Celtic home shop for the 2023-24 campaign, which has split opinion, and I, I would say that the opinion that has been split is very one-sided, to be honest. A lot of us hate it, and no wonder, because it's gone right into the Hall of Shame. How hard can it be? Adidas, how hard can it be to take a green and white hoop shirt and then make it work? It can't be that difficult, yet this easily, and I'm not over-exaggerating, and I know some of you might like it, fair enough, subject to opinion, it's easily for me the worst home shirt in Celtic Football Club's history. Horrendous. Now, the thing for me is, the more they release these wee snapshots of it and the wee kind of glimpses and, you know, all these wee teasers, I actually look at it and go, you know what, it might grow on me. But then this morning I woke up and I'm seeing more and more people with their hands on it a little bit early and I'm seeing it on people and it's just horrendous. It looks tacky, it looks cheap. The black should be nowhere near a Celtic home shirt. Not to that extent anyway. The big thick black collar, the black Adidas stripes, no. See, honestly, if there was a way that the club worked out, and Adidas worked away around the black, and they maybe gave it a white collar, or they just changed it up a little bit, I actually think it could have been okay. I don't mind the idea of the hoops having a little bit of a, 
you know, a little bit of a, an exciting side to them, but it's just too far gone. It's horrendous. I hate it. Will I buy it? Probably, because I like collecting all the kits, but it's just one for me that I'm never going to be a fan of. It will take something drastic, and I'm actually quite sad that it's the kit that Brendan Rodgers has to return to. At the end of the day, all that matters is what's on the park, I suppose, but it's just a bit of a, yeah, don't like it. So that's the home shots, and yeah, to be honest, four home shots down, nothing incredible. You can see what one my favourite is, and it will always be my favourite out of the four. But we've spread it across the chart pretty well, haven't we? No perfect ones, which is sad, but yeah, that, there you go. That's the home shots done. On to the away shots, which are always a little bit more exciting, you could say, because there's, there's room for adventure with the away shots. You can do something a little bit different. And that's exactly what Adidas have done over the course of the four shots, because four away shots, because we've seen four distinctly different away shots with Adidas as our manufacturers. So we're going to start with, of course, that first one back in 2020. And for me, it goes right up into perfect. This is going to be what, and you know what, putting that season aside and the the one that you want to forget, etc, etc, that was a perfect away shot. I was in love with it the minute Adidas announced it. And that really kind of set the bar for me with Adidas being our, our kit suppliers. And you could maybe argue if they've lived up to that expectation, but this was a shot they really delivered on. Obviously, paying homage to that Love Street kit from the 80s, um, one of the most famous kits in our club's history. It was a kit that a lot of fans, including myself, wanted to see kind of remade or, 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 or kind of touched upon for a long, long time, and we finally got it with this shot. I loved it. The colour of green was superb. It was brilliant for going on your holidays way. It was a fantastic away shot, and it will always be one of my favourites uh, as a Celtic fan in, the, in this modern era anyway. The the year following, the Ange Postacoglu first away shot, the one that we beat Hibs in in the League Cup final, one that took a while for me to really like. I thought at first it was just incredibly boring, but the more I seen it and the more the season went on and we wore it in these kind of special games, it really did grow on me. However, I'm still going to put it in mid. A season for mid kits that first year with Ange. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it, it's clean. It's classy. It's nice. It had that, obviously, retro badge on it as well. A lot of people love this. And I think a lot of people would put it into perfect. But I've still got it. And when I do put it on, I still think it's pretty mid. I don't know. It's not bad. But it's just not one that really gets me excited. So... I've settled on mid for it. Sorry for those who have offended. There's no, there's, let's not waste time here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is probably, and you could maybe argue, the best kit that Adidas have done um, with Celtic since they took over as kit manufacturers. I'm actually going to, I'm going to move, move them into order if I can. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. I'm going to move them into order as well of which ones I prefer. This is the top of the pile. The away shot of last season. The, the the kit sales prove it. Sold out once, sold out twice. They could, people still can't get their hands on it because of how good a kit it was. Perfect. And that's how you do a Celtic shot. And that's how Adidas should be going down the path of making these tops. Pay homage to some of the great kits in our history. Make it simple for yourselves. Don't overcomplicate things. I do like things that are unique and new. But this was a lovely touch to the, the, the obviously, the, once again, a kit of the early 90s. Fantastic. It was just on the money. And it was one that I was down at JD getting the morning it was out to take to Poland with me. I remember last year going down and getting it the morning it was out. Just a tremendous top and, and one that Adidas should be very proud of. It will be an all-time classic, I think, here at Celtic. And on to the final away kit, this season's away kit, the black one that has just came out in the past couple of weeks, another one that I got on release day, I'm going to put it up into good, um, and I don't know if I'd put it above or below last season's home shot, I'm just going to leave it there for now, but it's a good kit, it's nice, it's it's classy, it's clean, and I know people will be saying, well, you said the same thing about that one there, the 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 first Ange season, that was classy, that was clean, yet yeah, it was mid, but I just feel like this one's a little bit more... I don't know. I love the wee pattern that goes through the, the trimmings on the sleeves and the collar. I like the dark green accents. I feel like there's more to it. You know, it's not just a plain black shirt. You know, they could have easily went the blackout route and just had it all plain black. But they didn't. They've, they've, they've kind of 
spiced it up a little bit, added some pattern, added some accent, it's nice, I really like it, it's easily the best kit that has been released so far this season, um, and I think it will be a favourite for a lot of Celtic fans going off the initial reaction to the away shirt, so it goes into good for me, fan of it, well done Adidas. Right, on to the third kits, we're near the end and I said that you could play about with the away kits and have a little bit of an adventure with them and spice them up, you can certainly do that with the third shirts and that's exactly what Adidas have done since taking over. Let's start with that first season, the COVID campaign. Once again, a fantastic shirt, one that fans really, really like. The shirt sales will prove that once again. This was so difficult for me to get my hands on. Um, I'm putting it into good. I think it was a really nice shirt. The, the mint green that they used was lovely. And the only thing that I can say about this shirt is we probably didn't get to see it enough. Um, and do what's annoying about that collection of kits altogether. We never got to see them in person. We only got to see them um, through the TV screens, there was no crowds, obviously, um, so this shot, yeah, actually, we did get to see that in person, didn't we, because we wore it at Easter Road, did we not, I think we wore this one at Easter Road, actually, the following season, but it's a good kit, I'd probably actually drag that to the top of good, it was the first time that Adidas came in and changed the badge, which was a big gamble, you could say, because we've never done that, really, um, we've had the, the kind of Celtic Cross badges, and we've had our special centenary badge, but that's really part of Celtic, those things are, are typically expected. This was the first time we kind of removed the outer crest and then just had the, the four-leaf clover, and it worked really, really well, it was great at the time, and it's a kit that was really, really nice overall, so top of good for me. You know me, I, I absolutely adore this top, I love it, absolutely adore it. It goes to number two, perfect, perfect third shot. A lot of people don't like this, I will always love this shirt, and the only thing that I've got a problem with is the fact that mine's is too wee for me now because I've chucked on the beef. I love this top. Gorgeous. Badge in the middle. Do it more often. A badge in the middle is just so, so sexy. I love it, and I just like this so much because it was something so different. We'd never seen anything like this, and I've never been a big fan of pink on a Celtic shirt. Nothing to do with any of that. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm not, I'm not this masculine, oh I hate pink, but I just think the two efforts with pink beforehand were poor, but this one I really liked it, and I love pinstripes, I love the badge in the middle, it was just so nice, I wish we'd seen this kit a hell of a lot more often, this will go down as one of those ones that I think in 30 years time they'll be punting for hundreds on classic football shirts, I adore it, and it's one of the best so far for me. Last season's third shirt, it's the only one out of all the tops so far that I haven't got. that Out of all the kits that have been released, it's the only one I've not got. Uh, and it goes straight into bad for me. I think it's a bad kit. I don't like it. The more I've seen it in person, the more I sort of liked it. But just overall, bad. Boring. I, I just think that the grey wasn't really complemented by anything else going on. I just... Didn't really get behind this shirt, and it didn't help that the memories in it weren't great. You know, losing it, you know, Simmering Park and all that. It just, yeah. I don't know, man. It just, it didn't do it for me. I just thought it was incredibly boring. Sorry, it's gone into bad. However, if anybody's putting one in a size large, let me know. The final third shirt, this season's third shirt. Uh, I can't make my mind up on it. Honestly, lads, I don't think I've seen it enough yet, and I don't think that. I don't know, it's just weird, it's it's different, it's funky, it's one for the summer, I can imagine it looking really nice as you're walking about Tenerife, you know what I mean, That for that I'm going to put it in mid for now, because I don't think it's atrocious, I just don't think it's good either, Um, it, it's just one of those ones that Adidas have had a right good fart about with it and have landed on something significantly different from what we usually have, I really like the colour of the accents for the shirt, the one that the badge and the sponsor has, it's just the actual design itself that I'm not a huge fan of, this stupid touch ID that's going on through the entirety of the shirt, but I'll leave it in mid for now, that could potentially change though. And finally, we're on to the special edition fourth kit releases that Adidas have given us so far and potentially this season. I say potentially this season, it's basically all but confirmed, um, to say the least. So, I, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouths, and I don't want to get your hopes up in case it isn't, but I think it's all but confirmed. Um, I'm going to start off with straight away putting this at the top of mid. It's very, very similar to that kit. It's just a kind of different shade of green, there's a collar on it. It's very similar. I've got it, I like it. And I love a shirt with a collar. 
Um, it probably doesn't help that we never actually wore this shirt. There's different reasons and rumours that I've heard as to why we didn't. But I just don't think we ever got round to it. It was meant to be a, a special St. Patrick's Day heritage, heritage release. Um, and I think we were meant to wear it on that match day. It just never happened. But, you know, it's fine. It's it's just a typical fourth shirt. There you go, fans. Lap it up. Spend your money. Give us it. Top of middle, do it for me. And finally, this shirt, which hasn't been fully confirmed. But as I said, I think we're basically there. The special edition fourth release for the home shirt this year. I say home shirt. The fourth shirt. It's absolutely stunning, and if it comes to fruition, if it is real, it goes right to the top. Why, oh why, did nobody at Celtic Park and or Adidas sit down and go, that should be the home shot? Because it should be. It's gorgeous, it's perfect, it's outstanding, it's classy, it's Celtic. That should be our, our first shot this season it should be your home shot and see when it's released i hope it replaces that monstrosity that i've got at the bottom of the pile right now it is gorgeous and i cannot wait now i'll tell you right now lads we're probably going to get fleeced about 120 quid for it in a special release batch but i'll be there i'll have it because it is stunning i need my hands on it it is just the closest thing you'll get to the traditional hoops of 1967 you know, that is that is effectively it. It's stunning. I, I cannot wait to see if it's real. I think it's going to be, though. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. So there you go. There you have it. There is my completed tier list for all of Adidas's kits so far um, as kit manufacturers for Celtic Football Club. And I'd, I'd say that's my exact order of them as well. Going off it, we've had some really good efforts. We've also had some poorer efforts. I think if I was to try and summarise and wrap it up, I would say that Adidas have probably delivered, but maybe not to the extent that we all dreamed of when they signed on as the kit manufacturers. I think we had our hopes set really, really high, and it could be better. But when you look at it, everything from above mid, they're gorgeous kits. Um, I think it's just maybe the home shirts have really lacked as well that kind of brings it down, but... If they release that one later this year, the fourth kit that I've got at the top, then they've made up for everything and I'll be very excited. So yeah, there you go. That's my completed list. I want to see all of yours, so make sure to check out the tier list uh, and get doing it. That's me for today. Um, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd take it chill and, and have a wee break from all the serious stuff, all the transfer news, all the rumours, and we'd have a bit of fun today. So I hope you've all enjoyed this. You know me, I love talking about my kits. What's your opinion of the new Celtic home shirt? Let me know in the comments below but from me today that's all so i'll see you all next time